Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Mountain Moto Adventure. Today I'm out here on the good old DR350 heading up into the freezing cold mountains. It is right on the dot of 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And boy, does it feel like it. As of right now, it is one o'clock on the dot. I was thinking of riding all the way out to like Hemlock Lake area, which from right here is probably like maybe an hour and a half, maybe. Oh, there's like ice up here. Oh shit. Sunset's around, fuck, like 4.50. So I have like roughly four hours till sunset. Which may sound like a lot of time, but when it comes down to it, that time goes by pretty quick. Look at all this ice. It's interesting how there's just like a pocket of ice right there. Oh wow, look at the view. Holy crap. I need to take a leak though. Take a little intermission. I drank quite a bit of coffee before heading out here, so... I love these just rolling mountains though, and like how far you can see is crazy. Is this it? Where is it? There we go. This is the intersection. So from here, we're going to be dropping down the backside of this ridge line. This is actually, interestingly enough, one of the first few areas I saw a bear. I think it's like running right through these little areas up here. Also on the road down, we're gonna stop at this little area. I don't know what it is, if it's like a man-made thing or if it's like a naturally formed area. It's like this giant, just like marshland. All right, let's see, 145. It's been about 45 minutes since Red Top. Does not quite feel like it's been that long, but the clock is not one to lie. So this is this is the row that cuts down to the, the valley down below. Here shortly we'll run into that little uh it's like a meadowy marsh. It's just an interesting area. Because for everything to be so rugged and just like steep mountains and stuff, it's just interesting to come across. A big open flat area up here. Okay, I think this is it. <clears throat> well, I guess this is the end of the road. <sighs> My only concern of this area is it's probably a hot spot for bears and mountain lions and stuff. But yeah, we're like 3,000 feet up in some rugged freaking mountainous terrain. And then, boom, you just have this giant open flat field. It's just interesting, I don't know. And I lost the trail. I'm gonna get lost and die. I'm pretty sure I've actually passed my bike. <laughs> yep. It's already yeah, it's two o'clock. It's been just about an hour since I was at Red Top. And I still, man, I still got quite a bit of riding to do. At least I have three hours of sunlight. I want to at least get out to the main spots before the sun sets. I don't mind riding back in the dark as much. This road that I'm about to be on is actually the first place that I ever saw a black bear out here. And it was like maybe a hundred feet in front of me. <clears throat> I got video of it, but it's pretty crappy video. All right, this is it. What's the road? 2719. So usually I would take a right and that goes straight up to Black Butte, but I'm gonna be doing a new road today and I'm a little nervous about it because I forgot to take a picture of it 
of like an overview from Google Earth. So I'm going to be navigating a brand new road today, straight off of just memory. Oh, hell yeah. I love me some forest bridges. Look at this. That is cool. Oh, man, that is so pretty, too. Well, here, let's take a look really quick right here. <clears throat> yeah. Look at all these freaking boulders. I think it's so cool, though, just finding bridges like this. Like, you're in the middle of nowhere, riding gravel roads, and then they have a concrete bridge. Oh, man. Looks like a landslide happened right here, and... Uh, freaking washed out the road holy crap it's like as deep as my foot pegs oi, 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 oi. from what i remember on the map i just follow the creek until splits into two and i take a right and follow the stream on the right side and then i just wrap around the front of the mountain and then it should have a road that takes me to the top Oh, there is some ice on that puddle and everything around me. Oh, you know what? This is, so that's the mountain. This is where the splits and the two creeks merge. Yeah, there's one creek down there the other creek down there. Man. There should be a road that splits to the left and it's gonna take me up onto these mountains. Okay, yeah, this should be it. If this crosses the creek and gets to the mountain. Yep, okay. Ooh, man, these... All of these streams are just, like, so picturesque. But this road, if I just follow up the main one, it's actually going to shoot me out really close to Hemlock Lake. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I think that one is Big Squaw. And you can barely see it from here, but that's Black Butte behind it. Let's see, what time is it? It's almost 3 o'clock. I'm going to be riding in the dark tonight. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, I sure hope that's not the road I was needing to take. Oh! Huh. Oh, oh, no! No! You gotta be kidding me. Dude, I have to turn around. That puts a big delay. Oh, man. Last I saw was like a mile marker six, and that was at least like a mile ago. So I'm gonna have to backtrack like seven miles. So I've taken a quick little intermission just to reassess the situation. There's just so many fallen trees. So, I'm going to have to backtrack about seven miles to the last main road I was on. And then I'm going to have to get up to Big Squaw from the road I was originally going to take. <laughs> I should have just taken that one. Man, this is some crazy freaking roads. Look how steep that is. I can't even see down there. It just like drops off almost. Look at this. I wonder what's up here. Should I check it out just really quick? I mean, it looks like it just goes to like a little landing or something, but... Yeah. There's Big Squaw, though. In all her glory. It's going to take me, I'm guessing, about an hour to get out there. See, it's 3.30 right now. I'm going to have to go all the way back down to the valley. And I can follow a road that goes all the way back up there. So far, I have not had to hit reserve on the gas tank yet, so I'm doing good as far as that goes. Oh, all right. Here's the intersection that I, that's the road that I came down from. And I went down that direction and here I am back again. And I'm gonna head up this way. Now it's up to Black View. Oh yeah, this right here. This is where I saw the bear. He came over this crest and he's just sitting right up about a hundred feet away. Look at this creek. Ah, oh, so good.
this is where you start getting some cool views of the mountains. We're like right at the base of Big Squaw. There we go. Ooh. Oh, fuck. This all got burnt. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the road that I wanted to go up. I could, like, smell. It smells like a campfire. Okay, this is the road. This is some rugged terrain out here. Holy smokes. This looks like some apocalyptic shit. Oh my god. Look at this. This is so crazy looking. Holy shit, dude. Oh. I always think that looks like a dog head. Oh, what time is it? I wonder how long it took me to get up here. 425. Took quite a while. <laughs> And you sit for a few minutes and boom, everything changes. The sunset has been incredibly pretty. So it is five o'clock. The sun has officially set. I have a really long ride home. From this point, it's probably about two hours. All right, that's the road that I came from. And this is the road that circles you around Big Squaw and Black Butte. I'm just hoping this road's going to be cleared all the way out through. <coughs> it is dark, and I'm by myself, hours from home, in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> I just got past Black Butte and Big Squaw, still up here on the ridge line, and what do you know, the street sign, or road sign. Oh, here we go. Finally. Man. So this is the main road, and that's the road that I took up. Can't see anything, so I wonder if I could see what temperature it is. Uh, it's a little bit below 40. From here, I just gotta go maybe a couple more miles, and then take the road that goes up to Red Butte. There's about a half an hour to Red Top, and then from there, it's like about a half hour back home. So I've been riding this bike for nearly seven hours straight. I think I left around 12, 12.30. I guess maybe six and a half hours, but still that's pretty crazy. Especially that I'm on the same paint. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's been quite a crazy adventure through some pretty crazy terrain. A little scary at times, but damn it, that's the fun of it. Hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.